In this video, we'll learn to run LaceX code in a command line terminal. We will use the internet to install Sequin. You should install the 64 bit version if you have a 64 bit operating system. After you see the package manager window in your screen, uh, make sure to install the make file binary file. The make binary file should be in the developer section. After installing SIGWIND, you will need to declare it as a environment variable. You can do a window search uh, on the control panel and then type system variable once you're there. Then uh, you will need to click on the environment variables and you will need to modify the path to include segment. I have already done so. Then we can make a folder where we will store all of our latex files. I will name this folder text for instructional purposes. It is practical to make the path of the file easily accessible um, through the terminal. Just to double check, if we type dir, it will give us a directory of the folder and show us how many files there are in such folder. As you can see, it's empty, both in the terminal and virtually. Now it's our turn to install the LaTeX software, uh, going through the following site. It is easier to install the LaTeX software through a zip file, as I will do here. Click Next and click Install. Now we go back to our text folder to start making a LaTeX document. Let's put something inside this folder. We'll Google LaTeX templates uh, for documents and download them right away.
click on the template that you would like to use and download the zip file. We then extract the SIG file to the desktop um, and then put the text file in the text folder. Then we go to the terminal or command prompt and access our folder through the terminal. We will then need to make a makefile file in order to compile our latex code to a PDF file. The name of our text file should be the same as the target for this make file. So we will need to write assignment under line two. We then save this file and name it make file with a capital M. I accidentally named this make file as a TXT extension. Uh, make files should not have an extension. So let me rename it again as make file without any extension. Please delete the make file with the TXT extension. That was my mistake. I will now access the main text file, assignment two, and make a couple modifications to the file. Let's make a subfolder, A2, inside the text folder. All right, so now we can start using the latex template. Assignment two through our integrated text editing software. If you want, you can download the Notepad++ software for free. Just Google Notepad++. We can make a minor modification to the make file by adding this clean feature. The auxiliary file and the text file are generally generated through the compiling process and can be deleted. This PDF is an example of the files, type of files that could be created um, using our latex Linux, Linux environment. I will show you how to make and modify one of these files from scratch. We can open uh, this text file, assignment two, and silence a couple of lines, as well as modifying it by writing whatever we wish, as I have done here, writing thanks for watching. The part would be the compiling process, where it starts with opening the command prompt, going to the path, 
uh, where we keep our folder, according to the command prompt, we type make, and this command will compile your text file. Now, if we reopen this PDF file after it has been compiled, we can scroll to the line where we made the modification and it will read, thanks for watching.